Hey there, we are headed to Electra, Texas. Yes, we've been there before, but there was quite a few things that we noticed that we missed. So we're gonna head back, get some pictures, maybe a little video, and uh, see what there is to see. So if that sounds like fun, y'all stick around. See y'all there.
1895 to 1913. Eighteen sixty two to nineteen thirty three. I thought that might be an old cemetery or older, but I don't believe it is, not by looking at those headstones. Maybe towards the back. At eighteen. 93, I believe. Sure want to watch rattlesnakes out places like this. And I guess copperheads too. I've never personally seen a copperhead. But uh, no telling how many I've stepped over because apparently they are in this part of Texas. And I've lived here all my life. Just never been introduced face to face with one and I would like to keep it that way yeah, it's I don't think it had anything on it y'all be sure to stick around because we are fixing to go downtown Let's take some pictures of whatever's down there Continue here. Now I'll fill you in on some history of the Electra here in a bit, but uh, Electra got its name from Electra Wagner. She was the daughter of uh, the. I can't remember what his first name was. Anyhow. Mr. Wagner that had the Wagner Ranch down in this part of Texas. And I'm assuming this is family members. Nice headstone. Big one. Daniel, Danny, and Jenny Canifax. Oh, lay our spurs upon our breast, our robes and saddle tree, and while they lay us down to rest, go turn our horses free. <laughs> That's neat. Ed J. Green, August 11th, 1872 to March 10th, 1920. Just a baby. September 5th, 1915 to May 29th, 
you know this one's kind of got to be old unfortunately all they have is a little metal marker no black in it or nothing Claude Rebeer Con Conyers Texas Corporal Battery E-132 Field Art I guess that's artillery World War I 1890 to 1958 Clark Fabian 1869 to 1946 1880 to 1925 45 years old James W. Glasgow, 1924 to 1944. Wonder if he got killed in the army. Dimple, Glasgow. Huh. Hello, I bet these folks could sure tell some stories. Back in the late 1800s and early 1900s. You know, if the sun that don't seem that long ago, but the others, it was a long time ago. Regardless, though, don't you wish you would have listened to those old timers when they were still alive? Not this old. Of course, some of you might remember people this old. I wasn't even born when some of these people had already died. Nevertheless, like my grandparents, I sure wished I would have listened more to the stories. Some of them I kind of remember, but not a whole lot of it. All right, I guess we better head downtown or it's going to get dark on us. Let's see y'all down there. We're going nowhere. Texas. Daniel Wagner started the ranch in the present day Electra in 1852. Around 30 years later, the Fort Worth and Denver City Railway was built and its railroad tracks ran through the area. In 1885, Wagner's son, William Thomas Wagner, successfully lobbied railroad executives to build a railroad station at the site. By this time, the Wagner Ranch covered a half a million acres. Until this time, the town was called Wagner. But following the building of the station and the post office in 1889, it was dubbed Beaver Switch, after the nearby Beaver Creek. The opening of 56,000 acres of land north of the railroad station brought more farmers to the area. The town was renamed again in 1907, this time after Wagner's daughter, Electra Wagner.
Is yet to come. Too many times has come to pass. Too many moments put aside. Getting out alive. Getting out alive. Writing letters in the sand. have enjoyed this little trip to Electra, Texas and uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you like the video. If not, sorry. Y'all keep on keeping on and we will see you down the road. Bye.